Hi friends, welcome back to today's video. As you can see, I'm currently in the office. I just wanted to hop on here and start this video right here because today is going to be a bit of a busy day and I'm going to take you along with me. Um, it's just me and the pups. Me and the pups. <laughs> I don't, I know it's strange that she's sitting in an office chair right next to me with her head crooked like that, but that's what she wants and she gets what she wants. Anyway, <laughs> now that I sound like I'm spoiling my dogs rotten, cause I am, not sorry about it. I just wanted to hop on here and say, hello, welcome to a brand new week. It's gonna be a pretty busy one. And I just thought, ooh, hit my ring. I just thought I would love to take you guys with me um, today and another day this week. We can get some vlogs, sound good? So today I have a little bit of work to do then I have two videos to film and hopefully edit by the end of today. I need to clean the entirety of the upstairs, AKA vacuum, wipe down the kitchen counters and do like the toilets, you know, the worst stuff. And then I'm hoping I might be able to squeeze in a little bit of a workout to get back into a workout routine because I am slack lacking in that arena. And I feel like I'd have more energy and feel better about myself if I actually did some workouts every so often, maybe a couple a week. So that long-winded intro, just to say hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Michaela. I have CF. I'm about to be 26 years old. I work full time and I do this as a hobby. I'm also married. I've been married for three years, four years, about four years, July. July of 2017 is when I got married. So whatever that adds to today. Um, and yes, so welcome, I'm glad you're here. I hope you like what you see and you stick around and become part of our little tiny, 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 minuscule community and corner of the internet. Okay, that's it. I will hop back on here when I'm finished up and let you know how things are going. I can't seem to find the button to end this. Hey friends. Okay, so I just finished up filming the two videos I needed to film to get ahead for vacation. Well, for our long weekend away um, in a couple of weeks. So I don't have to edit on my birthday weekend um, and why we go out of town. So I'm just cleaning up my mess, shutting off the lights. That was the most impromptu hatch review I've ever done. So hopefully it was okay. Come on, my ladies. Okay, so like I said, I just finished up all of that. Now it is time to go downstairs, figure out what the heck I'm going to eat. Come on, ladies. Plug my phone in so it doesn't die. Um, and then I gotta go clean. <laughs> wow, my life is glamour. Come on. But I'm hoping I'll have a really productive day. I'm hoping that I just saw that Yoga with Adrian posted a 12 minute video. So there's my help to work out later. But first off, let's put the dishes away. And then, we'll, oh, one moment. All right. So let's get into a little montage, a little dishes montage. And then I will come back and Let's have some lunch. Okay, friends, dishes. That took me four minutes. Man, I'm a pro. Anyways, okay, so I just got down the crock pot because I'm gonna have a little something called, not for lunch, for dinner. 
I'm about to, it's not called not for lunch. I'm going to have a little something called porcupine meatballs for dinner tonight because Cody is not gonna be here for dinner. So I'm gonna make something that he probably wouldn't be that into, but I prefer immensely. So basically this is a bit of a, just kind of a slapdash, you know, like slapdash of things. Um, if you look up the recipe for porcupine meatballs online, you will find something much fancier than this. However, this is the way that my aunt used to make them, and this is the way that I prefer them. And it's the lame way. It's probably the white person way. But you know, I just like tomatoes. Sauce. Tomato saucy things. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some frozen meatballs. Italian style meatballs, okay? So we're gonna take, I'm probably gonna put about half this bag in here because it's just gonna be me eating this. Um, and that might not even give me leftovers, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is take half this bag of frozen meatballs. Is there a way to open this to reseal it? There it is. I almost ruined it. Oh, God, that's a lot. Okay, maybe a quarter of the bag. seems like enough for a couple of days probably okay so let's put the rest of the meatballs back in the fridge I need a smaller crock pot this is way too big but meh. now next step we put tomato soup and you might be thinking what but that's what it is I don't know I don't I didn't make this up but when you eat it Oh, it's so good. I don't know. I also don't know the exact portions of things. So I'm probably going to use this whole thing in here just because I don't want to store half a can of tomato soup. Um, that's probably going to be way too much. Um, but we're going to try it out. Okay, we're living in our 20s, right? I am. Me. And being in your 20s is all about figuring stuff out. You do not know what you're doing. I feel like you're just trying to find who you are as a person in your entirety of 20s. And then in your 30s this is when you're really living because you like figured it out. Like you know who you are as a person. You know you're never gonna understand anything about the way life works, but you're fine with that because you've come to terms with it in your 20s. And yeah, you know? The lid is fighting me here. It looks like I didn't even open it, but I did. But I can't get all the rest of it out because the lid won't come out. Okay, let's try a spatula. Okay, y'all, and now what are we gonna do? We're literally gonna stick the lid on and we're gonna cook it on low until I'm gonna have dinner later. And when I go to make dinner later tonight, I will grab this again, but we're just gonna um, make some rice and we're gonna have this over top of rice and when I tell you it's the best thing, it's the freaking best thing in the world, okay? Okay, where's my little knobby? Um, low. More? Low. Perfect. Let's put that in the sink. Put these scissors away. And these away. And now we get to decide what the flip we're gonna have for dinner. For dinner, for lunch, it's lunchtime. We're gonna have grilled cheese and air fried extra crispy crinkle fries.
is just doing another check-in. It is just about 4.15, 4 4.17 to be exact. And I just finished up editing those two videos. One's already uploaded and scheduled and the other one is exporting. So I'll get that one uploaded and scheduled as well. I edited the thumbnails and everything. So that's all done. I am in the process of trying to decide if I want to do dinner and then do my little 30 minute workout or if I should just get it out of the way ahead of time. Blood sugar, that's the problem. I don't want my blood sugar to go down. So like food, no food, will it be too heavy for what? There's a lot of stuff going on in my brain right now. But yeah, so I just wanted to check in, say hello, let you know that for some freaking strange reason, I've been so productive recently. Couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you why, couldn't tell you how. But what I do know is I hope it stays this way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to check in, let you guys know what's been going on it's been pretty quiet over here lots of busybody work to do and that is about it the sun actually began to shine it was supposed to rain like all day but the sun has been shining since like 2 p.m mind you maybe like 1 p.m that's only like three hours but three hours of sunshine i love it okay well i just wanted to hop on here and touch base with you. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to film a little, my brain is not working. I have not decided yet if I'm going to film a little time lapse of my workout or not. Maybe I will just to have something to throw in here and maybe to give you a little bit of, um, motivation as well, because I know I'm always trying to find motivation when it comes to working out. I can simply just don't want to ever do it but I'm going to today. So that's it, that's the check-in. My video still has about half of it to export. It's about 50%. So I think what I'll do is finish this last episode of what I'm watching on television, go put on my yoga slash bicycling clothes, and I'll do a quick sesh, okay? I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi hey friends, okay, so I did film, I did work out, I did a 12 minute, yoga with adrian workout and i did film it but in hindsight i was in shorts and a cut off shirt and it just seemed a little too revealing for my taste so next time i will make sure i'm more appropriately dressed as a married woman or just as like me not a married woman just like me personally but i just wanted to say that i did in fact work out and tomorrow i will probably feel it and i'm proud of myself for doing so even though it was a short one it was a core workout and oh, it was hard but anyways, so here in a couple minutes, I'm going to go make some rice. And then um, once dinner is completely ready, I will grab this. I'll show you guys what porcupine meatballs looks like. And we'll end the video there. Okay? Okay, so dinner is ready. Porcupine meatballs, a.k.a. super simple, super easy. And I cheat the system and make it by a recipe that's like pretty lame. Like ingredients wise, it's three ingredients. I don't season it, I don't do any of that. But that's how I prefer it. So let me just get a little bit of extra sauce up in here. And let's eat. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna want, um, salt but so this is literally all it is it is literally gray on gray sorry about that um it's meatballs rice and canned condensed tomato soup now you may say disgusting and i say to that maybe to you but to me yum so that's it. I am going to take some pills. I am going to eat my dinner and I'm going to have a very, very slow night after being very productive all day. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm really so happy that you came to hang out today. If you enjoyed this little space that we have here on the corner of the internet, this tiny little community that we have, please subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you're having for dinner. Have you ever heard of this? And do you cook it differently? I'm assuming yes, but 
I think it tastes better this way, so. Um, that's it. Um, Michaela, cystic fibrosis, 25, married, dogs. Yes, that's me. I really hope you guys had a good day today. Like, I had a good day today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys in our next video. I love you so much. Bye.